ओके गाइस रिसेंटली ए न्यूज वॉज वेरी पॉपुलर रिगार्डिंग द कावेरी डिस्प्यूट राइट दिस न्यूज एक्चुअली हिंदी न्यूज कावेरी डिस्प्यूट एक्चुअली ब्रिंग्स ए टॉपिक वाटर डिस्प्यूट इन इंडिया सी दिस टॉपिक इज एक्चुअली वेरी डिफिकल्ट डिफिकल्ट फ्रॉम द व्यू पॉइंट इज दैट इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू कैच हुईच पॉइंट टू इनक्लूड एंड हुईच पॉइंट वी हैव नॉट टू इनक्लूड इट इज़ वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू रिकोगनाइज हुईच पॉइंट वी हैव टू इनक्लूड इन आवर टू हंड्रेड वर्ड्स आंसर राइट हियर आई एम ट्राइंग टू क्रैक द टॉपिक एक्चुअली हुईच यू कैन हेल्प विथ लाइक राइट like models to solve water dispute one is historical model and one is present model and what is historical model you will find out yourself i am not going to describe it and regarding present model you saw uh, you see there are two models one is political uh, approach uh, political model uh, and another is what a uh, legal jurisdiction model right then uh, uh, you have to uh, see uh, you have to uh, see ki uh, what are the different models to solve water dispute like in present system you have to see political dispute a uh, political approach model and you have to also see ki what are the merits and demerits of poli uh, this model and again you have to see legal jurisdiction what are the merits and demerits of legal jurisdiction model right and when you will uh, you will find out these uh, merits and demerits your notes are already prepared in that we see water in central state list in india you have to first see the entry of state list which entry of state list and which entry of central list what they have been said said about the water dispute right and these are very important the state entry of state list and entry of central uh, list because it has brought the dispute as a federal dispute you have to see water uh, here you see water as a federal dispute in india and water in uh, central state in uh, list in india and water uh, as federal dispute in india right both are intricately related right when you will go to discuss water is uh, as federal dispute in india you have to see what is the entry of state list which says about water and what is the entry of central list which mentions about water right then you have to see constitutional provisions of water dispute in india what are the article here you have to see article 262 what is the author uh, what does article 262 says about the water dispute what power this article 262 of the indian constitution has handed over uh, to indian parliament and what are the laws indian parliament has enacted under article 262 these are very important right it will help in uh, correct pr uh, prelims objective type question also so constitutional provisions of water dispute in india means are uh, article 262 and uh, the laws enacted by parliament under article 262 then water is fed as a federal dispute in india okay uh, why water is federal dispute uh, in india because uh, state list has given authority of water to state and again uh, uh central uh centralist what it says that uh, this authority of state is subject to the law of parliament means center can amend or center can enact law which might uh, uh reform the water law in state right this way it is both handed authority right here you have to see water as a federal dispute in india then one another problem is that under article 262 indian government has enacted river board act 1956 and interstate river dispute act right in a river bo under river board act the law says that a, a river uh, uh, board authority will be established this authority will be central authority it will be one centralized authority who is will control all uh, all the river boards in india but the uh, the uh, the uh, matter is that under this uh, law act river board act 1956 who is was enacted under article 262 the, uh, no in uh, central uh, river auth board authority has been established in india till this moment that is why the uh, dispute of water or yeah, the matter of water you can say mostly at this moment at the hands of the state right then you see opacity in constitutional mechanism to uh, solve water dispute one thing is that 
why water dispute in India uh, is a uh, very lengthy process or why uh, these processes are actually uh, prolonged every time. One thing is that under Article 262, Indian Parliament has enacted Indian River Dispute uh, uh, Act. Uh, sorry, Interested River Dispute Act. Under Interested River Dispute Act, it was said that uh, uh, it was said that the uh, binding, uh, uh, the bind, uh, the uh, uh, the judgment of water tribunal would be binding on the states. The judgment of the water tribunal would be binding on the states, and it would have the same. If, uh, force as any judgment of the Supreme Court. But still the states are not uh, abiding the judgment of the water tribunal. Why? If it is, it has the same force as uh, Supreme Court and it is binding. Why states are not uh, abiding? The provision is that uh, the provision is that key, it is opacity. Yes, it is mentioned that it would have the same force as Supreme Court law or it is binding. But if any state is not, uh, if any state disobey the judgment of the water tribunal, that there is no uh, authority, there is no law, uh, in, uh, there is no provision in the law that what would be the punishment to that state. Absence of this provision, taking advantage of this provision, States are not abiding your states are dis they are showing these away uh, to uh, to the judgment of water tribunal and central is also center is also helpless because according to this provision if uh, any uh, state is not obey uh, does not obey then center has to dismiss the government of the state but it is not a uh, easy task you know right it will create lot of chaos right then come to the recommendations of Sarkaria Commission and a recommendation of ARC to solve water dispute. Right, to make your answer multidimensional, you have to refer the judgment of Supreme Court as well as if there is any the re report or recommendation of uh, uh, any committee. Right, only then your answer will be uh, uh, answer will be perfect, yeah, multidimensional and wholesome. And as a whole, I am giving some clues ki, uh, what are the problems regarding solving water dispute in India. First, you see there is no centralized authority. Right. There is no centralized authority. Uh, uh, a centralized authority means there, uh, 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 as the uh, in, uh, River Board Authority, uh, River Board Act 1956 says that there will be a central River Board Authority, but such no such authority has been established. Right, there is no centralized authority. Second thing is that the water dis dispute tribunal is what? It is not permanent. In India, uh, in a country like India, where every day new disputes regarding water is uh, has come, there should be a sh uh, permanent author water uh, dispute authority. Right, another thing is that under Interstate Water River Dispute Act, uh, it is said that the states will request the center to establish the water tribunal. Right. If the first, uh, when any river uh, dis uh, water dispute occurs, then first method is political method. L right. Uh, the states with the help of center will try to solve the matter. If the matter is regarding the utilization of the water, then the matter can be solved in political level. But if the matter is regarding the property dispute, means each state is uh, uh, with historical references or with any other sources claiming that that river belongs to uh, uh, he, uh, her, okay, then the matter should be dis uh, solved through water tribunal. Under river, uh, uh, interest river uh, water dis uh, dispute, it is said that if the political approach has failed, then the state will uh, request center to establish a water tribunal. But what if center does not uh, 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 establish a water tribunal? Sometimes center is prolonging the approach. Sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, center prolongs the process of establishing water tribunal. Right? Then what will happen? It is another lacuna, yeah, another lacking here. Right? Then another thing is that. I already told you that ki states are disobeying water tribunal. A river dispute act says that ki any judgment of water tribunal will be enforced as soon as states uh, publish the judgment in Gazette of India. 
but what if government has not published the gazette of india and this is what the present time uh, present government is doing government is not publishing the judgment of what tribunal in gazette of india and that is why uh, there is a uh, stage have also found advantage but center is also helpless because the judgment uh, is such that if it is published in gazette of india then states are bound then if states are bound then there will be a lot of chaos in this case right these are the some problems right and again uh, as it is pointed out by sarkaria commission that there is a uh, necessity of central level data bank which will keep the record of all the rivers which will help the water tribunal to expedite the process because at present what happened the process is so lengthy even the case of 1991 is still going on in water tribunal right because of data lack of data because of information the process is going to be very 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 lengthy right these are the some problems of solving water dispute in india and you have to give solution one solution is that there is institutional level solution right there will be central authority under that it it should be hierarchical process one central authority under that each state uh, have a uh, river board right in this way you can uh, discuss this topic yeah you, you can crack this topic uh, again i will come uh, with another topic till then take care goodbye and be prepared well for mains take healthy diet take good sleep be positive and crack mains